Hello everyone. We are going to escape the cold for a little while and go down to Florida. A friend of ours has invited us down to their place, his place. <laughs> what I've been working on has been mounting this door. I couldn't get an RV door. None of the surplus stores had a short door for a teardrop trailer or any low height trailer for that matter. Apparently there are a lot of people building square drops and adventure trailers and the doors are in such high demand they can't keep them in stock. Anyway, I have not mounted the box permanently to the frame. It actually won't be a permanent mounting system but I haven't bothered doing that because it's actually sitting back further on the trailer so that I can open the door completely. As you can see, I doubled up on the Phylon on the door. I just used the white, which is thinner. And on the mount for the hinge, I glued on a piece of gray Phylon, which is actually about 15 thou thicker, I believe. The gray phylon holds a screw much better than the white phylon, the, th the narrow, th sorry, thin phylon. And I'll just get my uh, handy dandy door opener here. <laughs> and open up the door. And you can see that I have mounted some shore power. glued on the strips that cover all the joints in the inside phylon. Right now in here it's 23 degrees C. Just to give you an idea how well insulated this is even though it's just two layers of phylon sandwiched between one inch of uh, extruded polystyrene styrofoam. On the outer shell, right now, I took a reading here, and it's eight and a half degrees on the outer shell. I took a reading on the snowmobile, and as you can see, it's freezing in here. Or sorry, it's minus eight and a half degrees on the outer shell. <laughs> eight and a half degrees C, minus. The snowblower is minus 11 degrees. So it is losing a little bit of heat, but not really very much when it comes right down to it, considering how hot it is inside there. I mean, it's too, too hot to even be in there for a while. But I did turn the heat up, mostly uh, I should do that again. <laughs> Sometimes I forget my door opener inside. There we go. Anyway, the lip you see here is PVC lumber. It's waterproof. Glue sticks to it very well. It has a, a bit of a wood grain look on the inside doesn't really matter to me. At any rate, that is where the weather stripping is going to go. This piece along this edge, the weather stripping will be against the outer, outer wall of the trailer. From about here and all the way around down to here, the weather stripping will go against the edge. And yeah, there's my door opener. <laughs> and I'll shut the door. You see that the hinge doesn't flex at all. With the door just pushed, you can see a little bit of daylight there. And there, 
obviously there's no uh, weather stripping in here. But when I put a little pressure on it, it seals it up almost completely. So I'm pretty happy about that. I did mess up in this area a little bit. It's a little sloppy, but at least the door opens and closes easily. So I'm going to borrow an idea that I got off a fellow whose YouTube channel is called Camp in Camera, Camp and Camera. He used one of these T-handles and welded up a closer on t that uh, gets set screwed onto the post there. And I'm gonna copy his idea. I do have a regular RV hinge, but I just don't know how it's gonna work. <laughs> it's, it's a matter of really hacking the door up Using a T-handle like that, all I have to do is basically make the thing that actually will pull the door tight. And it looks pretty simple to me. Well, simple as long as you have a welder. <laughs> anyway, really happy with the way it's coming along. Have a good day.